It was a big, big day on the west side. The first building in the massive Hudson Yards project opens for business. Stacey Delicat on what the future holds for the city's newest neighborhood. It is said to be the largest private real estate development project in the country, and now Hudson Yards is one step closer to a reality. Ten Hudson Yards officially opened its doors today, welcoming its first tenant, Coach. The 52-story tower will be the handbag company's new global headquarters. Here you've got glass that is floor to ceiling height and frankly, 360 degree views, so a lot to inspire our teams. The Boston Consulting Group and L'Oreal USA are among the other tenants that will soon join Coach here at 10 Hudson Yards, while construction continues all around it. This project's taken a long time to get this far, and to actually have one building open and happy tenants working there has been, it's a really significant first step of many. The 10 Hudson Yards building broke ground in 2012, though the entire 26-acre project has been in the making for more than a decade. Eventually, Hudson Yards will include 4,000 residential units, 14 acres of public space, a new public school, and a massive retail hub featuring department store Neiman Marcus. Jay Cross is the president of Related Hudson Yards and says the project will redefine the west side. The, the heart of New York's shifting. The west side already has got a lot of activity, but by able to build all of this new office space and residential and retail space in one location and create a 24-7 neighborhood, that's really a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Everything about this project is big, including the price tag. It is expected to reach $25 billion, but once the Hudson Yards is complete in 2025, the developers say it will generate $500 million in city taxes each year and bring tens of thousands of jobs to this neighborhood. Reporting from Hudson Yards, I'm Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.